This is the old Guthrie School. It's studios and home to myself, Helen Simmons, and I'm a painter, and my husband, Richard Cowdy, who's a sculptor and painter. He ran a bronze foundry here for many years, and it was here that the Chippenham calf was cast and made, and the bronze foundry was tucked away behind where we're looking now. Many of the sculptures around here go back to when Richard first moved down here in the 60s, coming right up to the present day. Richard grew up in London and then studied there at Camberwell, followed by a two-year bronze foundry apprenticeship at Morris Singers. What we're looking at now is uh, some of his uh, animal sculptures and the calf is that you can see on there is a direct copy of the one that's in Chippenham out of the same mould. And um, there are various sculptures of his dotted around. There's some reliefs that you can see. And at the end of the garden, through the gateway there, is my studio. And we're going to go up there now. I came down also from, well, from Watford, just above London. Uh, originally, I was looking at London colleges and didn't like them. They were all too busy. There was too much going on. And when I came down to look at Bath Academy, I was first attracted by the wonderful landscape of Wiltshire, which is why I've stayed here, and I've been here now for 25 years. Okay, welcome to my studio. Come in. So this is my studio. This is where I've been working now for the last year. It's called Studio 5, because it's the fifth space that I've worked in in uh, the building. I've kind of moved around as people have come and gone and the space has made itself um, available and I have, I work with side light, I work with top light, so all the paintings are done by um, natural light and this is showing, just giving you an idea as to how the paintings come about. This is a composition that uh, I'm working on at the moment and there's another one there that I'm working on at the moment. Each painting that I do is a follow on from the painting that I've just finished and it's usually the painting I've done has given me some kind of idea or some kind of clue as to what I'm wanting to explore next and so you will you can see a kind of route through the paintings so it's always much better for me when I've got a good body of work around me because I'm constantly referring to what's here. Working up here suits me so well because it's so very quiet compared to the rest of the studios. We're going to go down there now and see if we can find Richard and have a look at his workspaces. So this is another one of the classrooms, uh, which is one now one of Richard's workshops. He's got another workshop through there, which hopefully we'll find him in there in a bit. This is the one that he uses mainly for working uh, with clay, and he dries out his clay here. He's got a new kiln, which he's very excited about. And uh, he's also got an upstairs here, which is where he paints. So if we go through here, we'll find hopefully find Richard. So here we found Richard, and he's you're rolling out some clay, Richard. Yeah. Do you want to just say hello to the camera? Where is he? He's over there. Hello. <laughs> so this is the last uh, studio space. Again, it was a classroom, 
And uh, you can see some of the, the actual height of the building. And uh, Richard's added these, this room up there, which is now a small print room. Uh, when the foundry, which was out there, existed, this is where all the bronzes were prepared and cleaned up. Is that right, Richard? And patinaed. And so at one point, there were four people working in here. Uh, it was bigger, because that wall wasn't there, bigger space. And now Richard uses it as um, a workshop, another workshop. And he's working a lot on clay at the moment. So that, that's all the studio spaces. There's one other studio space, but we're not going to go in there because that's uh, another artist who isn't part of the collection. So we'll leave him in peace. I want to finish just by thanking Chippenham Museum for putting together this collection and thanking Sarah Purvey for having the initial idea and guiding it through so thoroughly. A number of years ago, I read a book titled Vermeer's Hat. And in the book, Vermeer paintings are used as starting points for a description and a study of global trade in the 17th century. So the author, who was a historian, he takes an object from each one of the paintings and from there expands into how trade developed globally. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because I think this is the job that museums have. This is what museums do. By going into museums, we are making connections with our past. And by seeing our past, we can see where we've come from and we can gain insight into where we are now and who we are now. So uh, I just want to congratulate you for what you've done and what you're doing. And I really look forward to coming and seeing the collection when it's in the museum. So thank you.